Okay, in this second video of interpolation, we're going to look into the quadratic or the second order of interpolation in which we introduce three data points to um, improve our estimation of the interpolated value. Okay, so this is the formula for the second order interpolation. So 2 here design it second order equals to B0 plus B1 X minus X0 plus B2 X minus X0 X minus X1. So what is B0, what is B1 and what is B2? It's here. All right. So B0 equals to, it's just the FX0. FX0 is just the first data point. Okay. And what is B1? This is the formula for B1. And what is B2? This is formula for B2. So you can actually just write down all this bulky formula inside polynomial equation, but we can also represent it and with just B0, B1, and B2. So bear in mind that there is no need for you to memorize all these formulas. Um, in the exam, these formulas are, will be given to you, but then you have to know how to use them, all right? So when x equals to 0, x0, b0 is just the simply fx0, all right? So let's look at how you can work around for quadratic interpolation. Okay, so we have an example here. Fit a second order polynomial to the three points used in the previous example. Previous example means in my previous video of the linear interpolation. So we have three points here. X0 equals to 1, X1 equals to 4, and X2 equals to 6. So these are your fx0, okay? So use the polynomial to evaluate ln 2. What is ln 2? Meaning your x here is 2. So what is your fx? Okay? So the solution, first of all, you calculate all your b's, b0, b1, and b2. b0 equals to fx0, which is simply this. No need calculation. It's simply the data for the first uh, x and then b1 equals to fx1 minus fx0 divided by x1 minus x0 so fx1 is here minus fx0 0 divided by x1 minus x0 x1 minus x0 4 minus 1 so you will get this answer and then calculate for your b2 Using this bulky formula here, just substitute all these values inside. You can get all these values from here, okay, from this. And you will get your B2 as negative 0 0.0518731. Okay, and then when you got all your B0, B1, and B2, you can substitute into this second order polynomial equation fx f2x equals to b0 plus b1 and so on so b0 is 0 b1 here is the one that you just calculated just now and this one is here from here and then this is what you got so we can substitute the value of x now x equals to 2 so just substitute 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, here, and 2 minus 4, and calculate everything. So we get the final answer as 0 0.5658444, okay? Which represents an error of 18.4%, and of course, it's an improved estimation from your linear calculation just now. So this is what we get then. The curvature introduced by the quadratic formula improves the interpolation compared with the result obtained using the straight line. This is the answer when we use linear estimate and we use only two points. And this is the quadratic estimate if we use three points. One, two, three for our interpolation estimation. So we get an improved answer.